In this video, we're checking out the Atomos Ninja 5 5 inch high bright monitor that's packed full of features. Coming up. The following content is brought to you in part by vidIQ, the number one Chrome extension for YouTubers looking for on point data analysis, research resources, and enhanced video creator tools. Start getting more views in less time today by signing up for free at vidIQ.com slash think. That's vidIQ.com slash think. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And we're here at the NAB show, the Atomos booth behind us, and I'm hanging out with Mark. How's it going, man? Good, yourself? It's going really well. Been pumped to be at the show and super pumped about this monitor that you guys are dropping later this year. Tell me about it. Okay, so this is a five inch monitor recorder that's got a thousand nit display. So that's super bright for using it for outdoor shooting. Um, it also records 4K in up to 60 frames per second. So this is gonna be super cool for cameras like the GH5, GH5S and the GH, uh, GH4. All small mirrorless cameras in fact and DSLRs are gonna benefit hugely from this. So uh, really cool thing about this is that this little bad boy actually just takes standard SSDs so you can record all of your video directly to SSD. Um, by bypassing what's happening internally in the camera, you're getting way more out of the beautiful sensor that your camera has and you're getting much better record quality. Absolutely, so, so for someone who's new to a recorder like this, if they have like a Sony a6500 or an a7S II, why would you want to, you kind of mentioned it, but why would you want to use something like this? Yeah, definitely, well a lot of these cameras are subject to a lot of heavy compression and processing that the camera has to do to be able to fit all of that video onto the memory cards. Well, with this, what we're doing is we're taking a signal directly from the HDR, HDMI output and we're taking the direct sensor data and then we're writing that to ProRes, which is a standard here that's um, an awesome uh, codec and it's super high quality, much better than the, the internal codecs. I love it. And when we look at this, so you could slide the drive out of there, maybe show them up there. So you can slide. Now, you're going to have some custom SSD drives that work directly with this, right? Yeah, we, uh, we do have some that are um, going to be custom, but generally speaking, you can use uh, any sort of 2.5 inch SSD that's, appro that's approved. We've got an approved list on our website. Um, but yeah, so it's a standard 2.5 inch solid state drive. You can record up to two terabytes on this thing. And like I said, 4K 60p, so super cool. And then for the battery, what kind of battery life can you expect out of that? There's the one battery slot, and what kind of battery does it use? Um, so you, there's a uh, Sony NPF style battery which is super common for uh, most video equipment so sony npf battery you can do up to i think the largest one is the the 970 uh, and you'll get like two hours or so out of this the other thing that's super cool about this is uh, this is going to be great for gaming. There are a lot of gamers out there that like to capture their games. This thing can capture gaming again in 4K 60p, catching all of the HDR metadata flags. So 4K 60 HDR, this little recorder is for you. It's very cool. Now let's talk a little bit about the ports because the other thing, some cameras, they don't have a headphone jack. So you got like a headphone jack on there. You got the, the HDMI in and out. Let's look through those. Yeah, so we've got um, a standard uh, microphone input, so 3.5 mil stereo input, uh, plus we've got a uh, headphone output, so you can monitor, monitor everything. The other thing that's super cool is we've got this remote port that allows you to calibrate the screen, so that makes sure that, that, that allows you to make sure that everything is white balanced properly, you've got a true D65 white balance, and that can match your computer screen. So, yeah, we also have HDMI in and out here, so that's HDMI 2.0. That's what allows us to capture the 4K 60p. That is awesome. And then the last thing that is a big um, kind of showstopper announced at NAB, and everyone's talking about this ProRes RAW. Is this uh, monitor going to be able to support that? And tell for those maybe that are just hearing about it for the first time why this is such a big deal. Uh, ProRes RAW, yeah, that's a, it's a huge step forward for us. So it's really that evolution of Codex for us. It's kind of like RAW made simple. It's a super efficient RAW. Um, codec that doesn't have all the complex workflows that you're used to with RAW um, and it still keeps all of that amazing data within the file. Um, this little boy is actually capable of recording uh, ProRes RAW, will be capable. Uh, the only thing is that at the moment there are no cameras that can actually output RAW over HDMI so eventually hopefully if that happens at some stage um, then this should be able to help us out. 
Very cool. And then what is the uh, expected price and release? 695 and this will be shipping in Q3. So it's not too expensive. Not too expensive at all. And, you know, Think Media, obviously for filmmakers, those that want to do higher level video production, capturing that raw output and all of that stuff, or, or capturing through your HDMI is incredibly powerful. But then also, you could be using this just as a monitor. You know, there are cheaper monitors on the market but for a thousand nit, high bright, five inch. All the features, what's cool is if you just need a monitor to see yourself as a YouTuber or something, it's a great investment that also kind of has you future proofed with a bunch of other future uh, features as you evolve, whether that's your zebras and all your kind of features that you get, because doesn't this have all the features of some of your higher uh, Ninja monitors? Yeah, well, it's actually taking the operating system from from our Inferno series, so you're getting all of the tools that you're used to in our legacy products. Including the ability to do LUTs as well and see things like that, right? 3D LUTs and also HDR. So yeah, like you said, zebras, focus peaking, all of the advanced uh, image analyzing tools. So yeah, this thing's fully loaded. I love it. So definitely if you want to check out more details about this, we'll link it up in the description below. Thanks, Mark question of the day. What do you think about the Ninja 5? Are you pumped that it's coming up? And have you shot with any kind of external recorders or external monitors before? And do you have any favorites? Let me know in the comments section below. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't yet. And if you want to check out other videos in our NAB show series, click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.